Daniel had a 12 for the white water spray. Hello, Daniel Pike 12 fans. In this part, we will take an on clay. So, head down with this massive mine shaft, wait for these doors to open, and slowly ascend our way down to this platform. If your team is weak like mine is, don't forget to buy some super potions from the Pokemon. And also, if you kind of wanted to raise your stats, and if you happen to find a protein which raises up the power of your base stats, your attack stats, um, use it by all means. Um, now we head down towards the steps to where Gym Leader Clay is standing. And, well, I think it's about to time to see for myself what all your your skills that made Gym Leader Elias take such so a shine to you. So we're taking on Clay. In this, for our fifth badge in the Universe region. He has three Pokemon on his team. Is a Chronocroc at level 29. So, basic idea to plan up my basic kind of strategy for this battle is to use my my splash because splash is my most powerful um, water type Pokemon. I have trained a little off screen because for the first time I did this, I lost. So. I'm going to use Scold here first, which should do quite a lot of damage. Not bad. And it got Bird as well, which is even better. If you're wanting to get Scold for yourself, if you go into the Cold Storage, into the... If we, I actually covered it in the previous episode, so... Um, check out part 22 of my White Walkthrough, if you want to know where you get TM55 Scold. Um, Squip Ball Beam here should do quite a lot of damage, really, because it is, after all, super effective. And also get hit by the burn, which is even better. Even when you are confused, you still can pull off some fan still pull off some good damage. So make sure you have a strong starter Pokemon. Maybe your team should be slightly higher than mine, I'm probably slightly on the level for this, but you can still get a victory if you carry on watching. We'll see how I pull it off. Lowering my defense there, which is fine, and also I am confused still, which is not good. Nice ball beam, please hit, thank you! Good old ball beam. Oh yes! And still get hit by the bird. Even better. Um, I think we are going to try and get it down with either a Scald or another Bubble Beam. I'm actually going to use a Super Potion to heal up. Because we are a little weak. And he got hit by the bird, so even healing was a good idea. That's why these either poisoning or burning your opponents can help a lot. And also good lord 28. Which is even better really. And the splash wants to learn a new move. Which is also quite a little surprise. We're learning muddy water, which is quite a powerful water type move, really. Um I think it kind of has roughly similar power to Surf, which is definitely a good move. And also allows us to travel on water. We're going to get rid of Bubble Beam, and... Splash, learn Muddy Water. So, Glimp Leader Clay is going to send out his Palpitoad, which is Ground and Water. So, which is why I'm switching to my Leaf Slash, my Swedloon, because um, I was going to kind of use Forest, but my Leaf Slash is now higher than anything I've got of my Grass type Pokemon. So we're going to use this. It's decided to use it to set up an Aqua Ring so it can start healing itself. But I'm going to use Razor Leaf, which hopefully should do quite a lot of damage. 
and actually got it down to red health already, which is even better, really. Um, I think next time I will put the Miracle Seed on to Lee Slash, which will make its Grass-type moves even more powerful. So, nice Razor Leaf to finish it off. Yep. Palpitoad fainted. Lee Slash gained 1,305 experience and grew to level 27. Which is very good. Um, if you do have any other tips for me, don't forget to leave them in the comments section below. He's now going to send out his strongest Pokemon against me. Which is... His Excadrill. I'm going to bring out Snowy just for one reason only. I know I will be training up in a future... Um, I will be training it up. But because my Palpito is very, very weak in health, I was planning to use Snowy to try and heal. Actually, I didn't actually do that. I was thinking of attacking it, but... Hey, how? Um, it does get very powerful if it uses Hoon Claws on you, which raises its attack and special attack. No, 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 not special attack. It's accuracy. So it can do quite a lot of damage. And it has Muddy Water out, which avoid... Which is one bad thing, because I missed. So, I... What we're going to do... Is we're going to switch out again into Scraggy, which is my fighting type Pokemon for at this moment, um, and hopefully try and get some good damage. Scraggy faints, which is not good. So we're going to send out Croc. I think I do need to do some next support training, so um we definitely need to do some of that. Um I'm gonna use a hyper potion on my splash because it has hardly any attack points left. And hopefully try and get a few mud shots and mud um muddy waters on it. Ooh, and another slash should first shot off, yep. Sorry, Croc, but thanks for helping me out. Um, I really needed that. Come on, Splash, you can do this. Um, right. It's going to use Home Claws, which raises its attack and accuracy, which can cause quite a lot of damage to you if you're not careful. So we're going to use a Muddy Water, which does... Not bad amount of damage, really. Um, hopefully we can survive this rock slide to get another muddy water on it, which we do, no problem. Another nice muddy water. Take that extra drill. And two hits with muddy water takes out extra drill. So. Make sure you have a quite a strong attacker or special attacker with like water type moves or grass type moves, then you'll do very well against clay. And hmm, I see. I'm sure I didn't like it. For such a young one, I have an imp um, I get to know your people, dig up your potential. Here, take this. It's for a new badge. Jan received the quick badge from Clay. So this is your fifth badge, yeah? Is that so? Pokemon at level 60 will obey you. And also, here's it this Uh Well, that's the plan. Um, basically, he doesn't want to give you uh, this TM to us straight away. Um, so, which you have to get in front of the cave in Route 6. 
and in the next episode we'll be heading in that direction so definitely stay tuned for that don't forget to keep comment liking and subscribing and thanks for all your support so far keep it tuned Daniel Pally 12 see you next time 12